put your tongue away. It's rude to stick it out at people. <sighs> Sorry. Somebody had to lay down the law. Hello everyone, I am 3rd Mario Brother, and welcome back to Let's Play Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. In the last episode, Mario got sick after eating an Invincis room over a little fungi town, and Luigi has come here to the Gafaha ruins to get an ingredient that can save him, under the impression that he's Mario, because some weird, uh, creepy, smelly magic hoopa taught, er, told us that we're Mario, so we can be brave. But, we are going to be saving Mario in this episode, and actually start hunting for the bean star pieces so if you are excited for all that please make sure to leave a like on the video down below i really appreciate it and it really helps out with that let's enter the ruins and this is an area i really don't know what to say about this area actually because it's like you're playing it alone as luigi and it's got some interesting well it's got an interesting puzzle later on but um there's a lot to this area that's uh, kind of annoying, it's, which basically... Actually, okay, the only thing that's annoying about this area is the enemies. There's not a whole lot of enemies, but there are enough to give you a significant amount of ire if you happen to get into a battle with them. Because, as you're only one bro, uh, fighting enemies can be quite dangerous. You don't have bros moves, you don't have another bro that can give you a one-up mushroom if, you, if one of you goes down. Um... So, basically, you're just, like, a really, really weak and vulnerable version of what you normally are. And I really... I, it's it's not that fun fighting battles um, as one bro. Because then attacks are, like, monotonous. You're not doing a whole lot of damage and all that good stuff. So, I recommend staying away from battles as much as you possibly can at this place. Which is what I'll be doing in this video. But there is some interesting platforming and puzzling going on here. Which we will uh, probably see very soon. Yeah, it's in this room. I actually really, really enjoy this puzzle. It definitely makes you think. And uh, I don't know the solution to it, so I'm probably going to have to do quite a bit of thinking, which I am totally down for. Um, I always had fun doing this puzzle, though. I know as a kid, oh my gosh, I got stuck on this for so long. Basically, any puzzle in any video game ever, though, was enough to make me get stuck on something as a kid, because I remember, um, one of the dungeons coming up took me actually, like, weeks to complete as a child. Uh, a lot of Zelda games took me actual weeks to complete as a child. Um, it's just, it's, it's ridiculous how much time that I would sink into something as a kid. But, you know, as a kid, no matter how little progress you make on something, it really doesn't matter, does it? Like, I remember, oh boy, I think I messed something up. Yeah, that's fine. I remember, um, playing this game specifically, it took me, like, maybe like a month and a half at least to beat Superstar Saga. Or maybe it was Partners in Time. I honestly don't remember which one. Yeah, we definitely missed something up here. Um, I, I don't quite remember which game it was, but one of the Mario and Luigi games took me forever to beat. And I remember I would just hop on it one day and I would play for like four or five or six hours or something like that and I would make absolutely no progress, you know? I would, I would get nowhere, basically, in the game uh, in all of that time. And you'd think you'd get really frustrated by that, and I admit there are probably moments where I was like, wow, this uh, could be a little better now, couldn't it? But for the most part, when you're a kid, you just don't pay attention to that, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Like, Twilight Princess is a good example of that. Um, so that's like a pretty long game if you have no idea what you're doing, right? Um, let's see if we can jump down here. Here, uh, what do we need to do? Okay, I'm gonna want to hit this one first, then raise up the blue one, then we should be good to go, I believe. Yeah, looks like it. But, um, so Twilight Princess, and I guess all the Zelda games are kind of like that for me, I would have days where I would just, like, run around, um, a temple and, like, get maybe, like, one key, or not even that. I remember the Water Temple in Twilight Princess for some reason, three days straight, I played that temple, and I could get absolutely nowhere, because, like, there, there's a point where you have to jump down off a reasonably high platform onto a lower platform, and for some reason that was not obvious to me, so I just ran around that temple in circles for three days straight, and it was ridiculous, and uh, I had no idea what was uh, going on, but I, I powered through it. I powered through it, and, um, I just had fun with the game, no matter what, you know, because when you're a kid, you don't care how much time you waste into something, but, either way, this guy here, I don't want to skip over his dialogue, because he's kind of interesting, so, uh, we have the Maui Easter Egg Island, Easter Island head, Easter Egg Island, <laughs> will you help me escape some stress? 
Uh, yes, we will. Apparently he doesn't play his entire dialogue over again, but like I said, you must dodge my flames for 30 seconds. If my flames hit you or you fall off that ledge before 30 seconds pass, you must start all over. Ready? And for some reason, this guy's story is that he's really stressed out. So he wants to shoot fireballs at us to help relieve his stress, and I gotta say, there's healthier ways of relieving stress, my friend, um, that don't involve potentially killing people, you know? Also, how does a rock get stressed? <laughs> Is he, like, going to school and working two jobs at the same time? Like, how, how, how could a rock possibly be stressed? All you do is sit there and be a rock. How, how is that difficult? I do not understand how your brain works, my friend, if you even have a brain. But this is a pretty simple minigame. You just hold left or right, and you will automatically jump to the platform in that direction. You jump over his fireballs for 30 seconds, and oh, many thanks. That really left off a lot of stress. Why does he sound like a snake? He's a rock. <laughs> it feels like my soul has at last been released. And he'll open this door for us. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, the door. Thank you, mustachioed one. You can go. I am done with you. We killed him. By letting off all that stress, we killed him. Make sure not to let off too much stress, kids, or you might die. Okay, that's terrible advice, but, um, here we have a weird-looking weed. And that is the crabby grass that will be able to cure Mario. So with that, let's head out the back, and very conveniently, there's a yellow pipe here, which we can go through that will lead us straight back to... Little Fungi Town. Thank goodness they put that there, because I would not want to go all the way back through Teehee Valley to get back here myself, I gotta say. So, um, yeah, there's nothing up that way for some reason. They just have nothing up there. <laughs> but let's go ahead and save Mario, shall we? We are d down one hero, and no matter how much we pretend to be Mario, you can't be the real thing, man. There's only one Mario in this kingdom or any other. Well, I'm sure there's a lot of people named Mario, but- Oh, gosh! What was that? Luigi, are you okay? Uh, I mean, I just got struck by lightning, so... Should be dead, but I guess I'm alright? What? You don't know what you've been doing! Don't you remember? Hmm... Nope. Who are you? Who am I? Where am I? <laughs> I heard you went to Gavaha Ruins to get Krabby Grass from Mario. D did you really get Krabby Grass? It. <laughs> I never understood why this is the only time in the game where he has to actually pull out his suitcase and be like, Oh yeah, I got it, instead of just holding it up. It really is Krabby Grass! Going to the frightful and dangerous Kafaha ruins all by yourself. Luigi, how incredibly courageous you are! Aw, oh, stop, he's blushing. Surely you will be a legend in this town. Luigi's like, eh, uh, nah, I'm good. By the way, what do you think that thunderous noise was? Could something have happened at the embassy? Luigi, shouldn't you be rushing to Mario's side? Ah, uh, yeah, the whole reason we went and did this? Let's grab that suitcase and let's get up there. L L Luigi! P P Princess Peach, she- Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me the obvious happened. Oh, God! How is there lightning when there's no clouds? Of course, it's something evil. Luigi, check out my new ride! Isn't it dope? Uh-oh. <laughs> Excuse me, Bowser! Oh, I think you're sorely mistaken. I'm... Bowletta! And you really need to work on your style, my friend. The man, there is something that is just not right in that face. Ugh. Cagletta's power has poured into this Koopa who is king. The body of the Bowser, but the mind is all of the great Cagletta. <laughs> they always laugh, man. Why they always gotta laugh? It's not funny. Need no voice this time. I'll just steal the real deal. <laughs> My mixtape drops this September. Make sure to check it out. I got a SoundCloud. It's Bowletta 1234. Uh, Master Mixer uh, 69. Make sure, make sure you go look at it. <laughs> but anyway, with that, Princess Peach has been stolen once again. I can't believe it. At least the end of the level's right here. <laughs> yeah, that's a really cool detail. But this is no time for jokes. Mario's sick and Peach is stolen, so let's go cure him. The doctor's not in the room, but let's just go ahead and shove this down his throat anyway, because, you know, Luigi knows what he's doing. He was a doctor once. He threw pills at people once. And with that, Mario is back to himself. Uh-oh. You all right, dude? Mario! The princess! Oh, and Mario automatically knows what that means. Cannot be a good story when someone's yelling about the princess. 
Master Mario, Master Luigi, awful things transpired while you were off doing who knows what. It looks like my hobbies will have to be shelved once again. Your Highness, Bowser, no, Cacletta, I mean, Bowletta, a message has arrived. <laughs> I wish my Game Boy fans could do this. You puny little worms are no match for me now. I'm only going to say this once, so listen up. You look kind of gross. <laughs> if you want your precious princess returned safely, bring me the four pieces of the Bean Star. I will contact you again once the Bean Star is complete. Oh boy, we are in a bad position, aren't we? Uh, Cacletta is now inside Bowser's body, so I can only imagine how powerful they've become, but... Oh boy, how has it come to this? That's what I'm saying. Seems we played our hand out, only to find the game is not over. There is little we can do. For now, we must gather the Beanstar pieces as Bowletta demands. Luckily, I know the general areas that the pieces fell in, so it shouldn't be too hard to find them. And he's going to mark our map with where they are. There's four pieces scattered around in these general areas. And I have marked where the piece, the p areas where the, but I, de I forgot English. <laughs> Who will gather the pieces first? The esteemed Mario Bros? Or me? I will bet 99,999,999,999,999 mushroom coins that it will be me. Oh, that is some money, dude. I could retire 30 times with that. It's on, dude. <laughs> what? 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 Luigi! No! No! Uh, Toadsworth's too young to see this, dude. What are you doing? Do not scoff, for I do not intend to lose. Uh, and why is he blushing so... This is... <laughs> Luigi, what are you doing? The game is afoot. Master Mario, Master Luigi, we're counting on you. Heed my directions well, and you'll quickly find the Beanstar piece that landed in Teehee Valley. And he's gonna go ahead and mark our map for us. I recommend going to find this Beanstar piece first. I must say, my senses have been referred to as strangely keen. My memory, on the other hand, uh, I don't quite, uh... What did they call it again? Uh, who are you? <laughs> my old man voice changes every single day, but yes, Toadsworth, well, Prince Peasley and Toadsworth have both marked our maps with the locations of the Beanstar pieces, which we must now go and find. Before that, though, I do want to check. Do we have enough? Uh, ah, we're just short of being able to make a woo bean coffee, but we don't have enough uh, beans to make another coffee, so we're going to go ahead and head off exactly to the place where uh, we should. And that is that area of Teehee Valley where Toadsworth just marked on our map. At this point in the game, I think... I think that you're actually free to collect the Beanstar pieces in pretty much any order that you want to. You might have to do this one first, I'm actually not 100% sure about that, but after this one at least you can collect them in any order that you want to, which is a really, really, I don't know man, it's like really cool. I'm just not used to seeing that out of like, um, RPGs, because like in Pokemon you pretty much have one order that you have to do everything in. In, um, oh, we better get this, huh? <laughs> this will be really useful in the future, probably, actually, and I can't believe I haven't gotten it up to this point. Um, I don't know, it's just I really like the open-ended aspect of this part of the game. I always thought it was really nice. If we go up here, though, we can go ahead and get ourselves a warp pipe, which is a really weird location, for one, because it's, like, right next to the castle town, which also has a warp pipe, but, you know, it's just good to have as many warp pipes as you possibly can, especially since now that we're looking for the Beanstar pieces, we're going to be doing quite a bit of traveling, and so you're going to want as many fast traveling capabilities as you can possibly get. Uh, where is the entrance to the valley again? Isn't it, like... Somewhere around here, right? Uh, I'll get that bean later because there's this enemy attacking us and I just do not want to deal with him right now. Where's Tihi Valley? <laughs> oh, it's right here. Okay. And the reason I didn't want to um, teleport to Tihi Valley is actually because um, the. or er, teleport to Little Fungi Town and then walk to Tihi Valley is because Little Fungi Town is all the way at the end of Tihi Valley and I'd have to backtrack through the entire thing. And I think it's just easier to. Um, you know, just walk here from the beginning, because the area that we have to go to, I believe, is off to... Which direction is it? I think it's right at the start here, unless I'm mistaken. I really hope I'm not mistaken, because that would be <laughs> a little embarrassing. Yeah, it's right off to the right, not off to the left. Whoops. Uh, bring Mario back to life. And there's actually quite a few beans, at least in this opening segment, that we can grab. 
Uh, but let's jump up here with Luigi and see where we're headed. Yeah, there's another bean right there. Man, there's just beans everywhere. I'm not complaining, though, because having a whole bunch of chocolate beans is going to be a good for that coffee game later on. Let's grab ourselves some money. And uh, finally, somebody in this game offers us a little bit of money for everything that we're doing. Jeez, like, in the end... The original plan, at least, fighting Cacletta was, like, not required for us. All we had to do was get Princess Peach out of our hair, and then we would be done with our Mushroom Kingdom affairs. We could have walked out of there, but we beat Cacletta for these guys. We saved the Queen Bean for these guys. We defeated a whole bunch of weird monsters across the universe for these guys, and nobody was paying us, except now, Prince Peasley is trying to hook it up with that 100 trillion mushroom coin. So, maybe I'll just pitch a 10 on a beach like this, and I will uh, not have a care in the world. This area is, I believe, for later. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely for later. We don't have to worry about this place right yet, but let's go from the beach straight into the desert and see a sunken pirate ship in the desert. What? How does that make any sense? Well, I guess let's find out what's going on. Can we just... Yeah. Hey, we already found a bean star piece, but there's spooky, scary skeletons guarding it. Oh, God. Whoa, is this the thing that uh, fell from the sky and crashed into the hatch with a big old flood? It's got to be. And thanks to that, the hatch is busted. This is terrible. But hey, whoa. It's just looking at this sparkle shine. I don't know what this is, but I'm putting it in the hold. I'm gonna hold on to it. <laughs> Get it? Because it's in the hold? Oh, God, we've been here a thousand years. I just ran out of jokes, guys. Listen up. This will shock you. This world is a world. Uh, this ship is the world-renowned SS Chocola. Uh huh. We're hauling Chocola, cola. You hear me? Shocking, huh? Who hauls soda on a boat in the middle of a desert? Also, why are you a skeleton and dead? <laughs> this makes no sense. Who are you guys? New deckhands? Don't even think about drinking the Chocola Cola down in the hold. Uh, wasn't planning on it. Uh, the last time I tried that, it actually tried to murder me. So, whoa, this dude looks salty as ever. Eh, was that? You want to know why this ship is in a desert? Oh, that's cause. Uh, see, this is a sunk. What? Where did my pirate voice go? It was just here. <laughs> it's gone now, though. See, this is a sunken ship. You know, it uh, it used to float, and then, well, yep, it sank. And uh, time passed and passed, and before anyone knew it, the ocean was a desert. In fact, it's been so dang long. Just look at us. We're bags. Of just bu we're just bags of bones over here. Uh, yeah, you are. For some reason, you're like sunburnt. How does a bag of bones get sunburned? That doesn't make any sense to me. Is there something back here? Yes! Let's just go ahead and steal this scary pirate captain's coins. Why not? Because I am in it for the money, and you know they probably stole it from somebody else. So it's okay, right? That's how that works, right? Right? <laughs> Heck yeah. No, that's, that's not how that works, by the way. But, um, you know. Uh, so this area is actually a little bit confusing. I need- I think we need to go as low as possible on the deck. Over here- Sorry, we filled all of our open positions. You ought to come back another time. Is there like a game show going on in there? This looks awfully, uh, happy for a skeleton pirate crew, but, you know, whatever. Old bloat is even more than Ostoff than before. And everybody's saying the crack in the wall is gradually getting bigger and bigger. What's that? You don't know what an Ostoff is? Shh, it's simple. Try selling it, spelling it backwards, Ostoff. That's a, that's mean, dude. Come on. Don't get on him about his weight, but oh, there's the Beanstar piece. Can we get in there, please? Hey, storage area's this way. If you want to get in, you'll need a membership card for this boat. And if you want a membership card, try doing something that'll help out the boat. Well, as you guys saw earlier, that skeleton dude standing in front of the weird glowy game show door is, uh, hiring. He wasn't hiring at the time, but now... I, I just can't handle this heavy-duty brain labor. I don't know how I'll handle physical labor either, because my arms only go one direction and I can't move them because I'm actually a cactus with legs, but... Uh, uh. Please, quit crying. I swear, this is why I hate hiring these workers from out in the sticks. Uh, we're not from the six, we're from the mushrooms. Can you hire us? Oh, perfect timing. We're short some people and we're hurting. Yeah, we're in a huge jam. Too ready to take on a little work? And yes, we're ready to take on a little bit of work. Let's go ahead and do that. This will be the last thing we do this episode. And this... Hmm. Hmm. I am Pink. Nice to meet you. If you get ten barrel points, you can be my sidekick. I win, you win, we all win today, tomorrow. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and barrel. So this is Pink. Um, Donkey Kong's dead cousin or something. I <laughs> do not know what this dude is or where he came from. But this is my least favorite minigame in the entire game. Maybe it's just because I'm really like, oh god. Uh, 
because I'm really bad at, like, puzzle games of this nature. But yeah, this is a puzzle game, and as you guys can tell, not exactly my forte. Oh boy, um... There we go. You have to get 10 points here, which really should not be that hard, especially because if you get combos here, um, things will go very well for you. You can get uh, well over uh, 10 points if you get a bunch of combos because that gives you, like, you know, extra points, basically, is what I'm trying to say. It gives you a bonus. But I am terrible at setting up combos in this game, and I've, I don't know, man, I've always just found this game really, really difficult and really slow-paced. As with all the other mini games that we have, uh, come across so far. Is that gonna work? Yeah, whoops. There we go. Oh boy, uh, this is not good. There we go. As with all the other mini games we've come across so far, you can actually grind, um, he beans here if you feel like it. But to be perfectly honest with you, there are way better ways of getting he beans. For example, the game that we played in Little Fungi Town at the game arcade that got us the Invincis Room, we can go back there and play it again, and this time Mario won't actually uh, die a hor of a horrible disease. Um, you will get rewarded he beans for it, and that's probably the best way to get he beans in the entire game. You can get so many there, plus the game is just fun. I always thought it was really relaxing. And uh, you can have yourself a merry old time while you're setting up your uh, plumber 401k. Okay, let's move this over here. I feel like I maybe could have set a combo up there somehow, but uh, I guess we'll be okay. We don't have to set a combo up. Combos are for chumps, dude. Uh, move this over here. If we get a red barrel up top, yep, should be good there. Please, please. So the game occasionally, I'm sure you guys all know the feel when like, uh, you're playing, I don't know, what's the popular puzzle game these days? Like, Candy Crush? Or Bejeweled? Or, I honestly have no idea. Basically, when the game sets up a combo for you, like, you'll clear a row, and then he'll throw some barrels out, for example, in this case. And you'll, um, it'll clear another row. I don't know, I just, that's always the best feeling in the world, because it makes you feel like you did something, even though you totally didn't. I don't know, I was never much for, well, I, I like puzzle games, I really do, I was just never super, super good at them. Like I said in a previous episode, Dr. Mario was probably my biggest puzzle game when I was a child, so, um, uh, that is basically where my experience with puzzle games ends, and after that, uh, I'm pretty pathetic, as you guys can tell. But we did beat the high score of 10. Or at least we matched it. Oh, we did beat it. Wow. 11. I actually can't believe that. Um, hmm, hmm. You stop right there. Oh, ho, ho. Not bad, friend of mine. As of today, you are now my new sidekick. You are terrifying. I don't really want to be your sidekick. Thanks for your hard work. You really helped us out, fellas. Unfortunately, we can't pay you with cash, so take this instead. Of course you can't pay us with cash. Nobody in this kingdom can pay us with cash. If you ever need more work, just drop by, all right? We're always happy to welcome hard-working types like you, fellas. <sighs> so, we have not made one penny off these guys after doing all that back-breaking brain work. I don't know how using your brain would break your back, but Mario and Luigi, I'm sure, could find a way. But... We know that the Beanstar piece is aboard this ship, and we are going to grab it next time on Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. Now that we have that work permit, we can finally enter this room and claim the piece for ourselves. But we're not going to be doing that just yet, because these Beanstar pieces go by actually fairly quickly, so probably next time we'll actually be able to get two or maybe even three in the same episode. So, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. If you enjoyed and haven't already, please make sure to leave a like on the video down below. Helps out a lot. Love you guys, and um, next time, as you guys know, we will be entering this hold. Uh, we can't, we can't ninja like ninja jump our way over him. Unfortunately, we're so close though. But we'll be entering this hold and finding the first piece of the Bean Star. Thank you once again for watching, and I will see you guys then.